Hi, so we're in um, chapter one, section five. We're working right now on uh, order of operations. And I wanted to show you something. Um, so the order of operations are parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, PEMDAS, the addition and subtraction. And the last two go from left to right, just as a reminder. Okay, so I'm gonna write a fraction So this is a fraction bar here and the fraction bar, we already talked about that the fraction bar is really um, a division bar, right? So it's numerator divided by denominator, but additionally, it actually also works as a parentheses. So this is the same as, so do the numerator, then do the denominator. There's nothing really to do there, okay? And so um, that's um, then when we're working with PEMDAS, we know we have to take care of the numerator and the denominator. All right, so we're going to keep that in mind as we kind of um, move through some order of operations, um, an order of operations example. Okay. So we're going to evaluate. Evaluate the following. Five times three squared minus 44 minus 36 divided by two. Okay, so we know that the numerator then needs to be treated as if it has parentheses around it. So let's go ahead and just rewrite that expression. 44 minus 36 over 2. Okay, and so we'll go ahead and take into account the PEMDAS, the parentheses. So we have 5 times 3 squared minus numerator is 8, denominator is 2. All right. And remember now that this did not, this, uh, Fraction bar is a division sign. It's a parentheses and a division sign. Okay, so going from uh, looking at the um, order of operations, we still we see we have an exponent. So let's go ahead and um, evaluate three squared and three times three is nine. All right, minus eight over two. All right, and so I see we have a multiplication, a subtraction, and a division. So coming over to order of operations, we're going to take multiplication and division left to right, and I'm going to bring this equation right up here. So 5 times 9 is 45, and 8 divided by 2 is 4, and we get 41 as our final answer. So um, this problem here is a good level of difficulty in terms of what you might expect on an exam. Okay, so it does seem complicated, but I hope that we can learn to take each line in the expression, each part of the expression, one um, operation at a time and keep it all straight. Okay, I wanna go and talk about average now. So if you, took a three quizzes in the class, in our class. If you took three quizzes in our class. All right, let's write those down. Three quiz grades. Um, 87, 95, and 88. Those are your three quiz grades. And we have to take find the average quiz grade. So what we do to average the quiz grades is we add them together and we divide by the number one, two, three, the number of quizzes that we took. Okay? So 
Again, the um, fraction bar works first as a parenthesis, so you have to do everything in the numerator, or if there was stuff undone in the denominator, you would have to do everything there as well. So I'll take a second and add these up. Two hundred and seventy divided by three, and that's ninety. Okay, so that's how we take an average. Um, we add everything up and divide by the number of observations or the number of quizzes that we had. And numerator um, using PEMDAS, your order of operations, you get two seventy three. So because ninety is my average. I expect that 90 is going to be in the middle of these numbers that we averaged. All right, so if you had gotten an average of 62 or an average of 100, then you would kind of feel like, oops, made a mistake, go back and check. But so the average is a measure of center of the numbers that you're averaging. So, all right, I'll see you next video.